Nay, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. And put this thing right here. Uh, hey, yeah, so this epistle right here, man, all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shai, simply entitled, Thy Word is Truth, right? So, um, you know, all praise to you, Yahweh Shema Shai, for calling us out of darkness into this marvelous light. When I say us, I mean the so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians in these last days. You know, as prophecy being fulfilled, that, uh, you know, Yahweh Shema Shai declared in the book of Revelations. Let's go get it real quick. Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. You know, speaking about, uh, referring to the uh, Ezekiel chapter 37, the Valley of Dry Bones, right? So, Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh Shema Shai entered into them. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Right, so what you're witnessing with the... Uh, you know, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, the ones have been called out of darkness to proclaim this word of truth on the four corners of the earth, that new song been saying, you know, you're witnessing the spirit of the Lord, you know, the Holy Spirit coming into them, you know, and they remembering who they are, standing up on their feet, coming out of that, out of those chains, you know, that the, the, the oppressor got us in, you know, what all these lies, all these, all these deceptions, you know, um, this propaganda, all these things, the things of the world telling you that you're, you know, you should be a part of the world, you should be a part of this wicked society, you know, that you are so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, where in truth, though, we are the Lord's chosen people, bro. You know, uh, going back to the book of Deuteronomy, you know, chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the face of the earth. Right. And the reason why we're in this lower state is because we, you know, we were the ones that, that stood in front of Moses and, and got those law, statutes, and commandments. But the covenant, you know, the, the, um, the contract was saying that, you know, if you do these things in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1, if you do these things, let's go get it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth, right? But no, we broke that. We broke that, bro. So we went, let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass that if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, you know, we're, you know, we're cursed. We're cursed people right now. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. And if you read, you know, down after Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15 on down, you will see all the curses that is, that is upon the children of Israel, bro. And it's plain and simple like that. And the Lord has blessed us with this understanding to believe these words in the last days, you know? And, and thus, we're out here bro proclaiming the trumpet, bro blowing the trumpet to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, warning them, telling them what time we're living in, telling them who they are, telling them who their enemies are, telling them of these prophecies that's about to take place. They're talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. We're talking about martial law. We're talking about concentration camps. We're talking about the implementation of the M-A-R-K. You know, in the book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, where it says, no man, you're not gonna be able to go in the grocery store and buy food, mother, you know? I almost said, I almost said the N-word, you know? But that's how serious it is. You're not gonna go in the grocery store to buy food. You're not gonna be a part of this society unless you bow down to the image of the beast. You know, you accept all this damn shit that they're trying to tell you it's okay to do, you know, which is going against the words that's written down in the scriptures. You know, all the laws and the statutes and commandments that's written down in the scriptures that are for us. You know, the uh, one just being, you know, I always bring this out. They're saying it's okay. The LGBTQ, PRXYZ, the, the community, you should be okay with that. But the Lord say they're, they're an abomination. Okay, that's just one thing out of many. You know, they're promoting pedophilia. All this stuff, and this is, we're talking about Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, the wicked, you know, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, Job chapter 9, verse 24. This is the truth. These are the words of truth, bro. So the reason why this, this epistle is coming about, last night after camp, uh, you know, and last night camp was, was based off of uh, having faith in the word, the written word of Yahweh Shemashah, right? 
and um, so last night after camp, after I had packed up everything, the cameras were down and everything, uh, had these two jakes come up, you know, kind of staggered. One came up first, you know, and uh, we, we got into it. I was like, hey, man, you, you, did you know that we're the Israelites? You know, of course, they've all they've heard that we're the Israelites, but have they really took the time to freaking seek the Lord, to, to listen, to sit your ass down, shut the fuck up and listen to the words of truth that's coming out? But we understand, hey, we understand based off the words that the, um, all Israel is not Israel. We understand that the rest were blinded. We understand that this is a gift of faith, right? But we still, this word have to still go in so they, you know, they still got to hear it. So, you know, they, they, they have no cloak for their sins. But anyway, I started talking to the dude. And, uh, hey, bro, you know about, hey, you know we the Israelites, right, bro? Yeah, sure. What are you going to do about it, man? Are you watching the videos? Huh? Are you? I just and listen. Start, hey, this, is on, this is on YouTube, bro. Go on YouTube, type in Great Millstone. Because you're supposed to, you, uh, when you hear the word of truth, you're supposed to come and, and come here, man. I got to go. My I know. Let me, let me read one scripture to you. I, 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 this, is the, this is life and death, bro. I was listening to you. Let me read one scripture to you. Okay. Come on. Come on, real, real quick. Hey, man, we're talking about 30 seconds here. Come on. Seconds, come on. For real, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come and get it. This is the book of Romans. Chapter 10, verse 11. For the scriptures say, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. If you believe in what's written down, not the traditions of man, not the lies that they teach you in the church. For there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For there is the same Lord over all, is rich unto all that call upon him. The Jew and the Greek are all us. We're the, like right now, the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, they're in, the, they're in a Grecian state of mind. They think they're, they're Americans. They think they're this and that. They don't know. So... The, when you call back into the truth, then you be reborn to the truth, right? But what, this is the point. For who shall, shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You got to learn the names, the true names, you know. Re, hey, believing in this truth, the true names, bro. Not no, because Jay wasn't even introduced until uh, 19, what, uh, 1630 or some shit like that, right? For who shall, shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We're not saved yet, as they say in the church. We're already saved. No, we're talking about saved from the said calamities that's about to happen. The time of Jacob's trouble, this martial law, this famine of the word. You see how they're, uh, how they're stopping all the food processing right now? Blowing up food processing plants. That's all the new world order, man. This is, okay, look. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Right now is the time to come back and get this word of truth in you so you can have faith. So you can know what, what's written down in the scriptures by who? The prophets that the Lord set out, starting with the elders of the apostle, Great Millstone. Type in Great Millstone on the YouTube. And maybe the, you pray to the Lord, learn the name, start praying to the Lord. And, and ask him to, to help you, bro. That's, a, that, that's all you got to do. Ask the Lord to help you. The real one, not the false one. And that's it, okay? If you really believe, okay? This, this is a precious word. This, it's not for everybody, bro. You know, that's why he's talking about, you, you know, you, sometimes you got to forsake your family because they're going to come against this word. They're going to say, no, that's it. You hating on them. You're supposed to love everybody because they don't understand. They don't believe it. You know, this is real faith right here, bro. Of what's written in the scriptures. That's it. OK, may the Lord bless you, bro. You too. OK. Yeah. yeah, man. See, that's what we're talking about. So last night. So we had the first guy come up, got damn dreads on and shit. He's all the feminine and shit, you know. And uh, every time I speak on the scriptures, he would ask who wrote that or, you know, you know, just just constantly, you know, uh, nagging at it. Like, what about this? What about that? And, you know, you see how that brother was just listening. And so it's a difference between the ones that come humbly to, to seek the, for the word, word. You know, you got to understand you have to have that discernment. So after a minute, you know, I was like. I just declared that this dude is a bug. I say, man, you's a bug out. Number one, you got them damn dreads. You got tattoos all over. You know, we understand, you know, with, that we're all once in that in that frame of mind. But man, and this is the, this is the truth, man. This ain't this ain't no joke, bro. So after you know, as the stripper proclaimed, after the first and second admonition, reject him, knowing that he's a heretic. You know, uh, because they've all heard heard the word. But that's why I said that they've heard the word, but have they actually? took the time to actually listen and absorb the word of truth. That's why I read Romans chapter uh, 10 to this brother, because how then shall you believe on him in whom you have not heard? How shall you hear without a preacher, bro? You know, because this is the, this is the house of David. This is that wise council right here. You see, even got Israelite camps and groups out here, you know, that they, you know, they, 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 
what does the scripture say? The deceived and the deceiver are his. They think they're preaching the word of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, but they're going off. Even when they get rebuked, they still don't get it. You know what I'm talking about? This is a precious thing, bro. This is a gift of faith. So anyway, then the second Jake came up, and they were all kind of, they were there, there together, and I kind of, kind of stopped dealing with the first guy, and because the second guy seemed like he was trying to, he was, he, you know, sound like he was getting it, but then, also, the truth came out toward the end. Uh, he finally admitted that he had heard the word up in New York, but once again, the simplest path, you know, the simplest, uh, the wise, the wise, um, let's go get the scripture. The wise uh, hear the word, and uh, but the simplest, uh, Slocky, I'm messing it up. I don't want to mess it up. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. The wise are foreseeth the evil, and the simplest pass on, and it's destroyed, right? The wise... That's, the, that's it. The prudent see the danger and take cover, you know. But the wicked, let's go get it in the book of Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. And that's what we're talking about. That's, and it's, it's kind of, you know, like that, bro. You know, if you have a Shemashah giving you the spirit to see and to hear. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished right so you know when this word is on display as the mystery of the kingdom always say the the, the you know the prudent man will, will take a little here you know if somebody's uh making themselves a living sacrifice and uh this word of truth is being proclaimed on the four corners of the earth and you start to take notice wait a minute there's a there's another guy in another state saying the same thing wait a minute there's a there's another guy over here they all over all over social media down on youtube about this israelite thing you you know, you might want to just say, let me see what they talking about, bro. And that's what, you know, hey, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So this word of truth, this, this trumpet is being blown, warning the children of Israel, telling them, hey, take cover, take heed. And that's what this trips are coming into. Uh, thy, thy word is truth. Thy word is truth. We don't have much time. We got to go in a minute. Thy word is truth, bro. So we're going to get right into it. Go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 let no man deceive himself so lucky let no man deceive himself if any man among you seem to be wise in this world let him become a fool that he may be wise right uh, and that's you know just like that guy that first guy from last night he just got to know who wrote that you know because he's trying to merge all these different philosophies and different doctrine and these, these different gods and you're trying to get it all and make it make sense some kind of way but look the scriptures say let no man deceive himself and if any man among you seem to be wise in this world let him become a fool that he may be wise right man you gotta you gotta be reborn man you gotta just forget all this shit that's what this that's what we're talking about you have been deceived, you have been deceived, you have been deceived. The scripture even talks about the wisdom in this world is foolishness, foolishness to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. You have been deceived, you have been deceived, you have been deceived. How, you know, how hard is that to understand? Become reborn, forget all this shit. The scripture even talks about, you know, you know, you know them, the ones that go to college with all this motherfucking, you think you're that damn, but this world coming to naught, everything in this world is about to be destroyed. This is the end of an age. We're talking about the kingdom of heaven coming into play. We're talking about this wicked rulership being destroyed, man. And everything that they, they set forth up here to be, um, to be, you know, put up on the pedestal, Yahweh Shema Shah say it's, it's an abomination to him, you know, and, you know, roughly paraphrasing. This is the book of Romans chapter 3, verse 4. God forbid, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou might be justified in thy sins, and thou mightest overcome when thou art judged. You know, for what if some did not believe? You know, well, for what if some did not believe? Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh Shemashah without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. Let the, let the words of Yahweh Shemashah be true, but every man a liar. With all their, their uh, philosophies and all their doctrines. Um, you know, uh, like these, these damn Rosas and shit. There's one back there with the goddamn Sheba Jatas and stuff on their head. It's evident, like the guy last night with the goddamn, you know, heathen customs all over the place. You know, uh... They don't even know what the fuck going on. You know, they're still worshiping Holly Selassie and all, all, all these f false gods and false idols. Just had two some uh, elderly women come out of church still, talking about some happy Mother's Day to each other and shit. You know, um, 
this self, this idol worshiping, that they have no idea because this word of truth is where it's at, bro. Okay? This word of truth is where it's at. Yahweh Shemashah called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. This is the book of John, chapter 17, verse 17. Right? Uh, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Saint, clean them, wash them up, sanctify them, make them holy through this truth. This word, the word of Yahweh Shemashah is truth. You know, everything else, you know, fails in comparison. When, when it comes, every, you know, um, like when I was speaking to that, to that second brother last night, um, it became, it became evident to me, man. I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, this is, this is so beautiful, bro. It's so spiritual. And I was thanking you, Habashim Shemashah, for this brother to come up because as the scripture proclaims, you know, when one teaches another, doesn't that one teach yourself? And I'm looking at the words that, you know, when we were speaking that everything that's written, written, you know, of course we know this, but Man, you constantly got to be in awe of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Everything that's written is happening. Like I read to him, uh, uh, Revelations, you know, no man will be able to buy, and, you know, and I explained to him about the MARK and everything. He was like, wow, yeah, that's happening right now. And bam, yes, bro, because this word is true. You know, so what else do you think going to happen? The martial law, the concentration camps, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shah coming to redeem us out of the hands of our enemies. All these things are beautiful, bro, and it, you know, gives us hope. And, and, and these are the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Thy word is truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth, my man. Okay, thy word is truth. And Yahweh by Shema Shah say, you know, on down, let's jump down here. Neither I pray for these alone, but for, for them also which shall believe on me through thy word. Through their word, bro. And we're speaking the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah. You know, so it, it's not our words, it's the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah. So it's like, you know, let's read that again. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. And if any man shall speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh by Shema Shah, baby. Come on, bro. Man, this is so beautiful. It's so beautiful because it, this, this truth breaks down the strongholds. You know, um, like I was just saying, there's women coming out of those harlot houses. Yahweh Shema Shah once again say, I don't dwell in no temple made with hands, but this truth is not for everybody. You know, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 104. See, and I had to tell that guy, you know, right off the bat, hey, man, so, you know, you got to be careful because the Lord's telling you that, you know, this truth is not for everybody. So your family might not get it, but you, you watch this truth. You watch these, you, these epistles, bro. You know, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Through thy precepts, through the words of Yahweh Shema Shah, you know, the commandments, the statutes. I get uh, through thy precepts I get understanding therefore I hate every false way so we hate every motherfucking thing that's up in this motherfucking world bro this world going off you know and they're trying to teach you to go off they're trying to teach you to love thy love the love your enemies and shit you know they're trying to teach you to, to, to love the ones that hate you how about Shema Shai? but the scriptures say don't I do not I hate them that hate thee O Lord you how about Shema Shai? they're trying to teach you to love the ones that blaspheme the name of you how about Shema Shai? to love your oppressors and shit that we, we crying out to you how about Shemashah to come and deliver us out of the hands of our enemies Scripture says surely oppression make it a wise man mad bro you know what I'm saying all these words are faithful and true this is the book of Proverbs chapter 8 verse 17 I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me bro and that's all it is to it man seek you how about Shemashah while he may be found call upon him while he is near we out here crying aloud we, we, uh, sparing not we're you know warning the children of Israel telling them who they really are and uh, that's one of the things that the guy couldn't get last night the second guy he kept saying Israel is not a nationality and I'm telling them bro this is us this is our heritage my man this is our heritage you know and then um, he did he ran off bro when he these devils came up you know these Esau came up a group of them like four of them, two, two, two men two women you know out on the town a little, little bit intoxicated and stuff they came up and when they came up you know, there he is cooning and shit right away. And then uh, they said a few words about, you know, me, you know, speaking and, you know, cursing and stuff. And, you know, when I addressed the issue, he, he stood, on, he stood up and, you know, stood on their side and said a few things. And then he, he used that opportunity to get the hell on, you know. Uh, this is the book of, but, you know, of course, you know, how about Shema Shah is the one, you know, that, that opened that door, you know, and no man shut it. He's the one. You know that directs the footsteps of men. So, as you know, as we said before, that he he did confess before he ran off that he had heard the word in, in New York somewhere. Uh, you never know, boy. You never know. But you know, I'm just saying. Speaking as a man over here, 
You know, when you hear this word of truth, bro, for me, when I heard it, you know, cleaving on to Yahweh Shem This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh Shem and the trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Right. So we, knowing the terror of the Lord, the words that's just written down about the prophecies being fulfilled, all these sad calamities that's going to happen, we, we, we come out here, we, 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 we you know, speak them to, to the children of Israel, warning them, you know, persuade them, hey man, if you, you know, Yahweh Shema Shah say, if you don't repent to him, you're going to be looked at as a heathen man, you're going to get it when the Lord returns, bro. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return thou backslide in Israel, said Yahweh Shemasha, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, said Yahweh Shemasha, and I, now, and I will not keep anger forever. Right. As, and it says, Only acknowledge thine iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord Yahweh Shemasha, thy God, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers upon every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. Right. Only acknowledge your sins. Confess with thy mouth, you know, Learn, that's why I told him about learn the names of Yahweh Shema Shah and ask the Lord, beg the Lord to, uh, you know, lead you out of the man. Woo -woo. You no, know, because it's about to be some serious things happening on the earth, bro. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 3. Let's start at 2. And many of them, because I quote this a lot, many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting contempt. And they that be wise, okay, because there's a separation, there's a difference between Israelites that's woken up to the truth and Israelites that have woken up, you know. You're just woken up knowing that you're Israelites, but you're still being a wicked ass nigga. And, and the ones that have come and being conformed to the image of the sun, you know, actually firmly, firmly believing in this word of truth and, and, and going all in, you know, seeking for that salvation, hoping and praying, you know, doing everything they can, putting on as the elect, bro. And they that be wise shall shine as brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many of righteous, many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Okay? Yeah, man. This is a powerful, man. This is beautiful and powerful. Okay? So that's my cue. I got to go. This is the book of Zephaniah. I was hoping to be packed up by this time, but that's okay. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3. Seek ye the Lord, all ye, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. Seek, seek the Lord's face. You know, that's what it's speaking about. So with that, hopefully this is edifying, brothers and sisters. Want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. Want to give double honors to the elder apostle Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where we go. Shalom Israel. Shalom.